If I have to, as defense counsel, determine whether immigration law is succinct, clear, and explicit or not, how am I going to negotiate a plea in some circumstances? I think if one example is um, clear, for instance, under immigration law, theft, where you are sentenced to one year or more in jail is considered an aggravated felony. And for most of, um, for anyone who doesn't know, aggravated fel fel felonies for lawful permanent residents are the kiss of death, right? There is basically really no remedy to get out of it and you will be deported. So you open up the statute, as um, Justice Stevens said, you know, if you open it up and it's there, it's easy enough, right? So you open it up and it's there. Now, one can argue, well, it's easy enough to know, okay, my client is charged with a theft and the plea um, agree or the settlement offer is um, 366 days. Well, I know that's more than a year, right? And so I know that my client, is, who is a lawful permanent resident, is facing an aggravated felony, so I can tell him what the specific risk of deportation is. If you plead guilty to this charge with this plea, right, you will be subject to deportation because you will be convicted of an aggravated felony. All right, I've told him the specific risk of deportation, and now, because I also have a duty to negotiate under the Sixth Amendment, I can then go to um, the prosecutor and say, well, can you give me how many? 364 days, right? Because again, I know an aggravated felony for theft, it has to be a year or more. So if I get my client under a year, that's no longer an aggravated felony. And at least for those purposes, he is out of it, right? I can do that. However, what happens if it's not succinct, clear, and explicit? Or let's say it's just a theft charge and it's 30 days in jail. Well, technically we know theft at that point is not an aggravated felony, but if I open up the statute, it doesn't say much about theft, but there is something called the lovely crime of moral turpitude, right? Crimes of moral turpitude are defined as intrinsically and morally reprehensible. Well, that gives us a lot of guidance. So the question then becomes, do, since it's not clear in the book, right, do I just then tell my client, well, sorry, you're charged with theft. I couldn't find it in the Immigration and Nationality Act, so it may affect your immigration status. When for many of us know that if we go to practitioner books, which uh, Justice Stevens talked about that competent counsel would do, you would know that theft in, in, in most circumstances is a crime of moral turpitude. Right? And if you go to the statute, people with crimes of moral turpitude under certain conditions can be deportable. Again, how far do you go to be able to do this? And it doesn't necessarily mandate plea negotiation, at least in the specific opinion, but it does, I mean specific wording, but it does in the opinion.